Ladies and gentlemen, all sound effects, including the theme song, have been omitted for this special multi-vocal edition of the Price is Right Pricing Game Recap, presented by I'm 264 Shirt. Enjoy. And now, it's time for a special multi-vocal edition of the Price is Right Pricing Game Recap on this day, May 10th, 2012, the day Enterprise finally, truly, went where no man went before. The pricing games played on this day on The Price is Right were the following. Two for the price of one, pushover, gas money, swap meet, grocery game, and finally, bonkers. As we began today's edition of the program, a young lady named Francina came up on stage to play for a 17-piece stainless steel classic cookware set from Cuisinart with a lovely Gwendolyn modeling, as well as a 30-inch gas range, refrigerator, and dishwasher presented by the dazzlingly beautiful Rachel. The game was two for the price of one, and that's a freaking sweet deal. But in order for her... To win all this kitchen stuff, she had to figure out how much the cookware was. Francina picked the first number to be lit up. Get to the chopper! Grab that first number, pick a Terminator! By the way, the cookware was at least $600. The next digit, she chose three over seven, and finally nine over zero. Now she had to ask herself a question. Do I feel lucky? Six thirty nine. You should have paid, Francina. That is why you fail. Lois, did you go on the prices right? No, that was another Lois. You sure that's not Anne Mira? Yes, Peter. She's playing for a trip to Algarve, Portugal. You're sure we're not spending six nights at the Vila Vida Park or even going sailing for a day? No, but she will be, if she's right. Giggity, 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 I want Amber! Lois concocted a winning formula with two pushes for a guess of 14,000. 139. Now she's going to have the time of her life in Portugal because that guess was right. <laughs> uh, let's get ready for a card game. That's right. Guess money is the game. And now here is our player in this corner making his debut on national television. Playing for a Chevrolet Cruze LS. Modeled by way of presence of Rachel, the undisputed champion of the one bid, Felipe. The the the, the guy picked a price of seventy thousand four seventy. He was about to get the slip, but 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 Drew Carey had Rachel doing it instead. Well, you can forget about that car, brother. There was a pink slip behind that price. Now go say your prayers and take your vitamins before you hurt yourself, dude. The other cards, as revealed by Rachel, had 2000 behind 20799 3000 behind 19390 4000 behind... 18,685 and a thousand behind 22,822. Hey, what's up? This kid Jason was also on the show today and he went to a swap meet trying to swap a 14 karat blue diamond pendant from the Titanic. Uh, I mean, my friend Michael C. Fina down the block, mobbed by Rachel, who I dig wearing that pendant. One of three prizes cost the same. 
it could have been a Sony 24.3 megapixel DSLR camera with zoom lens and 16 gigabyte memory card modeled by Amber. An endurance B2U exercise bike modeled by Gwendolyn who looks like she's been sweating good. And designer shoes and accessories modeled by Gwendolyn also. Jason tried swapping the necklace for the set of accessories. Gwendolyn Osborne showed a price of 2740 American dollars. Then Rachel showed the price of the necklace, which unfortunately cost less. Sixteen fifty to be exact. The camera was sixteen fifty and the bike was eight seventy five. Hey, Bill. Did you see this guy David on the Price is Right? He could pick up a big load with a 4x2 Toyota Tacoma worth 18765 bucks, man. And Gwendolyn, who modeled it, is such a babe, man. So is Rachel behind that grocery game register. There were five little items with almonds, with big respective tastes. Almond Joy, Honey Bunches of Oats with Almonds, Blue Diamond Almond Breeze, Almond Milk, Nature Valley Sweet, and Salty Almond Bars, and Trader Joe's Almond Butter. David picked four granola bars. One was three ninety nine. Four were fifty ninety six. Next, he bought one box of cereal. It was worth four nineteen, making a total twenty dollars fifteen cents. And David has a new truck! <laughs> oh yeah! Impressive. Most impressive. Even better, he got to take home that box of cereal. All right, I'm getting tired of doing impressions, so let's just get this over with now. Yeah, I kind of did the best that I could on those, but, uh, but I can do some. They're not all perfect, but there are a lot that I can do. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know, maybe a lot of them didn't fit with this, but uh, but that doesn't mean I can't do impressions. Not to brag or anything. Well, anyway, finally Pamela, who bid perfectly on a karaoke system with music, played bonkers for a Somerset seven-piece outdoor dining set and Fuego Element One grill modeled by Amber. The price, which was obviously wrong, was five thousand five eighty-six. First, Pamela tried higher, lower, higher, lower, which was not right. Then she tried higher, higher, lower, higher. That wasn't it either. She had a bit of trouble placing the paddles, so she was only able to have a few guesses. Drew described it as disastrous, which was a good way of putting it. Pamela tried lower, higher, lower, higher, which was wrong higher, higher, lower, higher, which was also wrong, and finally, higher, 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 lower, which was wrong. Price was 7244 so it should have been higher, 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 lower. So, we had two of the six games won, and they were pushover and grocery games. And since the pricing games are going pretty much nowhere right now, I think we ought to have an item up for bid recap sometime or another. I don't know. Anyway, we gave away $500 in cash, all won by Pamela for a perfect bid. The MVPs of the prices right are Lois and David. And contestant recognition goes to Pamela for a perfect bid and to David for his all-wet showcase win including 
two bare wetsuits with snorkels and fins, a trip for two to Belize for a five-night stay at the Plantation Room Victoria House, including snorkeling trip, and a Bayliner 175 bound rider, 17 foot 6 inch with 3 liter MPI engine, the mini top, safety package, and waterproof stereo MP3 connectivity, all modeled by Amber. David bid $28,300. The actual retail price was $29,317, a difference of $1,017. Another thousand would win both showcases, but he still had a solid day. Forty-nine thousand seven thirty-one was his grand total winnings. Oh, and he also beat Felipe by three twenty-five in bidding. Tonight's sponsor for the pricing game recap is Hershey's Hugs. Now, until next time, this is Pierre, 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 uh, Porky Pig. Sylvester J. Cat and Mr. Spock reminding you to help control the pet population, have your pets spayed or neutered, and live long and prosper.